Adding a responsive carousel to your WordPress site is a great way to showcase images, posts, or products in an interactive and visually appealing way. With the Carousel Slider Gallery by WP Carousel plugin, you can easily create a well-designed, mobile-friendly carousel without any coding. To get started, log into your WordPress dashboard and navigate to the plugin section. Click on Add New and search for Carousel Slider Gallery by WP Carousel. Once you find it, install and activate the plugin. After activation, you'll see a new WP Carousel option in the dashboard menu. Click on it to open the plugin settings and make sure all necessary options are enabled. Now go to All Carousels. As there are no carousels created yet, click on Create New to start building your first one. But before we move forward, let's talk about something important, which is speed. Slow website means frustrated visitors and lower rankings. That's why we built Airlift, a free speed optimization plugin that runs over 50 plus performance tweaks to give your site a 90 plus page speed score instantly. Head over to airlift.net and give it a try. It's completely free. All right, let's get back and begin by creating a simple image carousel. Click on the media upload button and select six images from your media library. Once uploaded, Scroll down to the General Settings section. Under Layout Preset, you will find different layout options such as Simple Carousel, Grid, and Slider with Content. Most advanced layouts are a part of the Pro version, but for now, stick with the standard style and later experiment with other styles like Center Mode. Next, under Slide Effect, choose Slide for a smoother transition. There's also a Flip Effect available, which can create a different kind of animation. Now define how many slides should be visible at a time by setting the number of columns. For desktop users, set it to display five slides at once, ensuring a seamless scrolling experience. The plugin also allows customization for mobile and tablet responsiveness, so your carousel will automatically adjust based on the screen size. For the action type, select either none if you want static images or light box if you want users to click on images and open them in a pop-up. If needed, rearrange the order of the images by simply dragging and dropping them. Once everything looks good, click Publish. The plugin will generate a short code that you'll need to insert into a page. You can copy the short code from the right side of the screen or from all carousel section. Now let's add the carousel to a page. Open the page where you want to display it and create a new container using your page builder. Add a text editor block and paste the copied short code inside. Click Publish and preview the page. Your images should now appear in a responsive slider, complete with pagination and navigation arrows. If you want to experiment with different effects, try switching to the flip effect. It rotates the entire row of images, which can work well for displaying multiple slides at once. Now that we've created an image carousel, let's move on to the post carousel. Go back to the WP Carousel plugin and create a new carousel. This time, select Posts instead of Images. Most of the settings remain the same, uh, but under Post Settings, choose where you want the title to appear. You can also enable or disable additional elements such as Post Excerpts or Featured Images. If you want the carousel to autoplay, adjust the autoplay settings to control the speed and timing of the slides. Since the free version of the plugin has limited styling options for navigation and pagination, you may not be able to fully customize these elements, but you can still tweak their appearance. Once done, click Publish, copy the generated short code and paste it on your page just like before. For a cleaner design, you might want to disable unnecessary details such as the author's name or post date under the post content settings. This keeps the focus on the actual content rather than the additional metadata. After making these adjustments, view the front end of your website to ensure the post carousel looks exactly how you want. Now let's take things a step further and create a product carousel. This is especially useful for online stores using WooCommerce. Instead of manually selecting images, go to WP Carousel and choose the latest products option. Set the number of products to display. Five is a good starting point for a balanced layout. Keep the slide effect style for a smooth transition. Once the product carousel is set up, click update to generate the short code. Now go back to your page and create a new section where this product carousel will be placed. 
paste the short code and check how it looks on the front end. The product carousel should now display images, product titles, sale prices, and an add to cart button. If you want to customize what information is displayed, go to the product info settings. Here you can choose to hide or show elements like price, ratings, or the add to cart button. While most advanced styling features are now available in the pro version, you can still make basic modifications such as hiding pagination or repositioning navigation arrows. If some of these options are locked, upgrading the pro version will unlock additional customization tools. At this point, your website now has a fully functional responsive carousel for images, blog posts, and products. Each one is designed to adapt to mobile and tablet screens, ensuring a seamless experience for users across different devices. Whether you're showcasing product collections, highlighting featured blog posts, or displaying beautiful image galleries, WP Carousel makes it incredibly easy to create stunning carousels without writing any code. That's it for this tutorial. Try experimenting with different styles, layouts, and effects to see what works best for your website. If you have any questions or run into issues, drop a comment down below and I'll be happy to help. Click here if you want to 3x your site speed in just one minute. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Click here and I'll see you there.